。続いては、東京工業大学のトイテックにプレゼンテーションを行ってもらいます。えー、メンバーは、古橋智樹さん、そして田代直樹さん、大野京子さんの3名なんですけども、プレゼンテーションタイトルは、テクノロジー 433% ということです。Nowadays, more and more Chinese people come to Japan and buy many things. We call it Bakugai in Japan. But there is a question Do you know what they're buying? I mean, what is the most popular souvenir for Chinese people? The answer is toilets. Toilets are really important for our lives today. We'd like to talk about toilets. Then, let us ask you one question. How many of the 7.2 billion people on our planet cannot access a toilet? There are three choices 0.5 billion, 1.5 billion, and 2.5 billion. Please raise your hands. Are you ready? Okay. Let's get started. Who thinks 0.5 billion? 0.5 billion? And 1.5 billion? And 2.5 billion? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> The answer is 2.5 billion. But what does it mean? As I said, there are about 7.2 billion people on our planet. So, 2.5 billion means about one third of all the people in the world cannot access a toilet. In addition to this, there are more problems. According to the UNICEF, about one billion people have to go outside and use an open space for toilets. And about 1,000 people die of diarrhea per day because of bad environment of toilets. Some girls tend to be absent from school because there are no clean toilets. Many people have to use toilets without privacy and face the sexual violence. There are more problems than we had expected. That's why today we'd like to talk about toilets. First of all, we focused on toilets in Asian countries. Now, we will show you a skit. In the, in the skit, Two students are going to talk about toilets. So, let's discuss toilet problems in Asia. Kyoko, how did you feel about the toilet during your stay? Our members visited China, the Philippines, Sri Lanka, and India this summer. I was surprised at the hand shower in restrooms. Do you know how to use a hand shower? After using a toilet, they use this hand shower to clean themselves. They use their left hand to do this. There are some problems. First, we split water around the toilets, so the toilet seat and floor get wet. There were bugs such as mosquitoes, and I almost slipped due to the water on the floor. Second, one hand becomes dirty. Third, I think elderly people and small children find this difficult. I see. Some mosquitoes cause terrible diseases. I guess the biggest problem is wet floor. Exactly. I wondered. Why they didn't use toilet paper instead of a hand shower? Then the floor won't get wet. No toilet paper. They don't like using toilet paper. I conducted questionnaire survey in Sri Lanka and India. I asked these questions, and students of University of Peradeniya and Indian Institute of Technology Madras kindly answered. According to this survey, They prefer to use water rather than to use toilet paper. And I understood that they seriously care about wet floor and bugs inside the toilet. I didn't know that they don't like using paper. 
Really? Hmm. I think the main causes of this problem are high water pressure and water splash. So, how about using a portable hand shower with motor and battery like this? No portable hand shower. It's hard to bring every time and too expensive. So, I came up with the idea of a new toilet. New toilet? Does it mean worth it? But it's too expensive. Yes. So, my suggestion is not normal washlet. I call it a manual washlet. Here is my invention. I designed this prototype. First, you set this bent pipe by putting this string. And then, by opening the cock, water goes through and out of the nozzle. Wait, wait. Is it possible? I wonder your new idea will really work. Let me see. Water pressure for washlets need at least 50 kilopascal. It means we need a height of five meters. Can you do that? No problem. I hit up on the idea to use air pressure to compensate for the lack of air water pressure. Does I set this pump that inject air to this tank. Does it work? Of course. Look at this video. Wow, water is really flowing out. What a good idea. And electricity is not necessary for this, right? Yes, I calculate this amount of water for using toilet once. This is comparison. I estimated the data from my Sri Lankan friends. When they use hand shower, it takes 10,000 milliliter water per 10 seconds. On the other hand, in case of manual washlet, it takes only 200 milliliter water per 10 seconds. Oh yes, this prototype doesn't need, doesn't need electricity, and what is more, saves a lot of water. If this product becomes available to communities in developing world, it solves these problems, as I mentioned, and then, reduce the number of people with infectious diseases. I think this positive attitude toward clean toilet will change how people see themselves. How was our presentation? We would be glad if you are more interested in toilets than 10 minutes before. Actually, when our members went to Sri Lanka, a Japanese company is willing to work with us as a joint partner for conducting experiments on our product and sending the data to us. For the next step, we are planning to do our project for business. In addition to this, we are going to work with the Indian Institute of Technology and through the system of academia industry collaboration we are going to find a joint partner to manufacture our products. If you spend 18 minutes in a, in a toilet, it means 
110 hours yearly. And in 80 years, 8,760 hours in a toilet. It means 365 days. One year in your life you spend in a toilet. In which space would you like to spend such a long, long time? Here is answer. Yeah, it, it, is, it is very important to keep the toilet clean. That Everyone should have that thought. Yeah, okay. thank you. Two years ago, we didn't know anything about toilets. But now, in order to make the precious time better, we are starting a project with our technology for 33%. Just imagine what you can do. Thank you.